Hey YouTube, it's A from Ebony Girl Speaks. I wanted to um do a review on some of those products that I brought and I showed you guys in my haul video, the one right before this one, that video. I bought quite a few things, um, most of them from Walgreens and um, two products from Rite Aid. I didn't know what I wanted to try. I knew that I didn't want to continue to buy products and just stick them in the stash and don't even use them. I'm good for that. Because if you see my stash and my stuff, I just open, smell it, rub my fingers through it, and even use it yet. But I'm going to use it this summer. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to use first. But I was very excited about um, trying Curls Unleashed because I had just heard about this product. I think it's been out for like two or three months, but me, I'm kind of late to on the bandwagon, but I was very much attracted to the package. That's what led me to it. And then I saw it was made by Organic Stimulators. So I said, oh, I'll go ahead and try it. So I had bought two products from their line. I think there's like seven pieces. I only bought two, like I said before. The shampoo, pools, and conditioners I didn't need because I have enough of that stuff already. But I really, really wanted to try this product and I hope I'm showing it all in the frame for you guys this here is the curls unleashed set it all set it off curl boosting jelly and it says it's perfect for curly and kinky textures threes and fours it's great for twist styles calling shingling freestyles updos lightweight and easy to apply for delightful Curl definition without the crunch, y'all. That's what it says. So I was really looking forward to using this product, being that it's a gel. What well, they call it a jelly. Hmm. And that it wasn't going to be crunchy, which I guess we can't get away from. But if a product says it's going to do that, I'm going to try it anyway. So now remember, it's for textures, threes and fours, which I have the kinkiest hair out I think anyway as you can see it's kinky and then on top of that it's very very thick that's the main thing so set it off is um well I have a, some things in here it says it's made with aloe vera wheat protein vitamin B and other ingredients to help give you gorgeous crunchless curl definition and they tell you to scoop out a liberal amount of set it off and put it in your hair you know, put it in the palm of your hand and then evenly apply it throughout the hair. You can also put their um, leave-in conditioner underneath and then extend your style. You can use a second chance curl refresher. Okay. If you want to know more, you can go to curlsunleash.com. Now, it says that this is free of SD alcohol, parabens, and mineral oil. It's BPA free and it's made from recyclable materials. So, jaw is which is good I like that I do not really get in much with the ingredients because I said before I don't know if you feel the same way I feel my hair texture is gonna break anyway I don't care how much moisture I put in my hair I don't care what I do to my hair the only thing I can do is just minimize the breakage so if you want to know more about what's in the product you have to look it up but I will tell you the first product they tell us is water and glycerin that's the first two products if it has parabens and well not parabens I'm sorry silicones and all that stuff in here which it probably does you can look more into that if you like but um I have to say oh and I really like this I hope you can see that um afro picture there I really like that they really grab me but they tell you to enjoy the product so this is what it looks like. It is a jelly. If you can see it, hopefully I'm showing you enough of it. It's blue. It smells good. The smell is not overwhelming. It's very light. I don't know how to explain the smell to you. Like I said, it's very light. It's, it's, it's not going to overtake you and be in your hair and you, you know, about to pass out. But it is a gel. It's kind of thick. And as you can see, I use it on Sunday. Today is Thursday. So my hair has been done for a couple of days. I wanted to see how it would um last for me. I don't love it, but I like it. 
I wouldn't buy it again because when I was putting it in my hair before my hair was even dry like right here in the front I already had flaking I'm telling you this probably dried before the rest of my hair does because it takes a long time for my hair to dry I already had flaking before my hair was fully dry now today as you can see I have a light blue shirt just you know and I put some moisturizer did all that to my hair whatever it is that I decided to do today and I was moving my hands through my hair now I didn't know my son came up to me and said mom you have so much dandruff I said, it's not dangerous that's from this product right here now you might say well, why don't you put something underneath child I put shea butter underneath this I put a leave-in conditioner I put I don't know it's not as much flaking as I've had with another product but it's flaking nonetheless and I don't care for that especially in the summertime you know you want to be able to go outside and not worry about flakes in your hair every time you touch it or manipulate it so I don't like that at all my hair is dry and as a matter of fact it was dry to me I say after the second day and remember I told you the type of hair that I have, I need a lot of moisture, 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 moisture is what I need in my hair. So by the second day, I may, with some products, I may have to put moisture back into my hair. But I didn't think I would have to do that with this so soon. It is very much soft, easy to manipulate, it is not crunchy at all. And as you can see, I um, did a wash style and go. Um, that's what I did with the product. Like I said, I don't love it. I just like it. I don't think I'll buy it again, but I will use it again. I want to use it on dry hair to see how it comes out. Um, like Maybe like a day or two before I get ready to wash it, then I'll use it again. But I don't think this is something I'm going to use like right away. It's not on my list of favorites, my favorites, because I did not like that flaking. And like I said, I had the flaking in the front of my hair. It had to be like six hours after I um, did it. And I did not like that. One thing I can say, a pro for me, it is not crunchy. Not at all. It's giving me a lot of little springing coils and I like that that's the second thing that I like I like the coils that it gives me you know um because my hair it, you see I got a lot of shrinkage I don't mind the shrinkage at all I don't mind like doing a twist out and then it's long or doing the um jelly thing and it's small I don't really mind that at all but me don't want no kind of faking nobody wants that for sure so I don't know if I'm going to try this with perhaps maybe with their um, no boundaries leave-in conditioner maybe if it's on sale I'll pick it up because I'm not going to buy it for what $15.99 which is what this is regularly priced but I got it on sale I think for $13.49 not to be off a lot but that's pretty much what I paid for it and I got it from um, Walgreens like I said I will use it again I can't say I will buy it again I think that once um I don't know if you saw the whole video on how much I had um, initially, but this is what I have left. So I think I'll probably get about another five, six, seven, five to eight applications. And to me, that's not bad at all. Um, I had to use a generous amount on my hair. And I just did the regular, you know, shingling, you know, how you normally do. I just did it with my fingers. I didn't use a comb or anything. Um, but this is, on a scale of 1 to 10, for me, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Yeah, 4.5. I will definitely continue to use what I have, but I won't buy it again. If I could figure out how to get rid of the flakes altogether, I'll use it continuously because I like how it left my hair. I don't know if you can really see much, but this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's just coily. It's just little coils, little. And at first, when I was doing, it, I was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna like that," because I could tell it was just gonna be like little coilies. And for some reason, the Echo Style Gel doesn't do my hair this way, and um, Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding didn't do it quite this way. But I like how it came out. I can't lie. I can see all the little curly 
um, coils, but that's my perception of this product. I see a lot of people here on the YT have been using it. Um, like I said, try and let me know how you like it. You know, and what you may do for um, what to avoid flakes when you use gels. Because I've used Miss Jessie's. I don't think I had any. I only well, I can't really remember, but I know for sure. I did not like my son telling me, Mom, you have dandruff. I don't have dandruff. It's this product. And come on, six hours, within six hours before your hair was fully dry hair in the front, I was like, you can't be kidding me. So, I don't know. But I like the smell, like I said. So it has a few pros. But that's my little review. It's not too much that I really can say about it. Go to the website, look it up, and see um, what other ingredients are in here. Maybe there's some that you might like, some that you don't like. But I do like the fact that it has the aloe vera and the wheat protein and the vitamin B. But I'm going to wash my hair on Sunday, and I might try something else. Because I bought, like, oh goodness, quite a few products. So, um... If you didn't see that video, you should watch it just to see what I brought. Nothing, you know, like hot, new, off the... Well, they are new products. But still check out the video. And that is my review of Curls Unleashed by Organic Stimulator. Root Stimulator at that. Straight out of Chicago. Sell it off. Curl Boosting Jelly. So I'm going to end this video right now. The sun is out. I'm going to hit the street. I need to go to the laundry mat. That's where I'm headed. So wish me luck that I'm not in there all day. So I want to thank you guys for stopping to watch this video. For um, Well, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I just want you guys to share and spread love. I hope I did this review some justice and you get a just the what it is that you may or may not like or if you would like to try this product. Mm-hmm. So peace and love. Share it.